so which were the speeches that we have done so far now can we stop talking is a colleague beta who is here okay paradox online students i hope you are ready with the notebook and pen because we are going to start or continue the last topic that we did yes sir Meg Patel, why are you not here? Why are you on the other side? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, audible. Why don't I see these people? Neil Modi, Pranjal Bakshi, Krish Mewada, Kashwini, Tanisha. Keep your cameras on. Come on, everyone. Daria Solanki, you too. Keep it on. The so next series of speeches, paradox. P A R A D O X. Okay, right on. It appears to be. It appears to be self-contradictory. Can you repeat? it appears to be self contradictory but actually reveals but actually reveals something truthful say for example you have to spend money example you have to spend money to save it you have to spend money to save it the only rule next example the only rule is the only rule is to ignore all the rules the only rule is to ignore all the rules one one more example things get worse things get worse w o r s e worse before they get better Understood now these examples before they get better. Sir. Yes. Sir, are you telling these examples for Simar? Whoever was the host earlier, make me the host, please. <laughs> I was left unintentionally with a bit mistake. Yes, keep your cameras on, everyone. Chalo. Someone was asking me something. Yes, sir. I was asking. Yes. What is it? You are saying the examples for oxymoron. No paradox. Okay, sir. Yes. Next exam. Uh, next because of speech is pun. P U N pun. Pun. P U N pun. 
it contains it contains a play on words it contains a play on words comma such as using words such as using words that mean one thing that mean m e a n mean one thing to mean something else to mean something else or words that sound alike a l i k e alike in as a in as a means of changing meaning means of changing meaning <laughs> example is amazing means of changing meaning matlab koi aur cheez kehne ke liye koi aur cheez karte example yeah. a sleeping bull is called a bulldozer a sleeping bull a sleeping bull is called a bulldozer which ironically is not known right but you call it anyway bulldozer b u d l l d o z e r next example my favorite fish are smart fish are smart but they travel in schools but they travel in schools can anyone tell me what does it mean online offline both see a group of fish is known as school of fish jhund mein jo fish hoti hai na ghumti hai we call it as school of fish कलेक्टिव नाउ तो बंच ऑफ कीज होता है वैसे स्कूल ऑफ फिश होता है दे आर स्मार्ट दूसरे ट्रैवल में नेक्स्ट फिगर्स ऑफ स्पीच ऑफ जी मोरॉन O X Y M O R O N. Oxymoron is the next figure of speech. Dear students, it connects. It connects two opposite ideas. two opposite ideas comma usually in usually in two word phrases two word phrases comma to create a to create a contradictory effect to create a contradictory effect for example open secret open secret next controlled chaos controlled chaos c h a o s 
chaos. Next example, pretty ugly. Pretty ugly, P R E W T Y, pretty ugly, U G L Y. Right? One other example. It's quite rich. Is alone together. Alone together. You want life's greatest oxymoron? Don't write this as an example, but just to inform you. Happily married. But both cannot exist together, right? Married. Is married, then no happy. Happily, then no married. Is happily married. This is life's greatest oxymoron, but we don't write this as an example. You can only speak, right? Great. Yes, sir. But see, you remain English student throughout your life. science, BSc, PE. doctorate, PhD. So there will be a time when you will be done with PhD also. Understand this. Where your name will have a prefix for doctor. Except for example, you know, uh, Dr. Bansi, whatever it is. Okay, uh, MPhil PhD in so, like, uh, biotechnology, whatever it is. But you still keep on learning English from surrounding. Because there is no end, endless. The journey is endless. So throughout your life, you cannot say, I know entire English. I am not able to say. So it's a lifelong process. Okay? The show must go on. Okay? One more example. You know, when... Uh, no. Anyone? Online? जो आप घर में रहने गए उसके बाद अपना फर्नीचर करवाए हो ऑफिस में या फिर कहीं तो समझो कि आपके घर पे वो पहले आया होगा मेजरमेंट रोस के लिए ठीक है ना तो आपने क्या कहा होगा भैया मुझे एग्जिट एस्टीमेट दो ना एग्जिट भी चाहिए एस्टीमेट भी चाहिए कैसे पॉसिबल तो वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमनेस्ट ऑफ द मोरोनेस एग्जिट Estimate. Estimate is the rough figure. Now, exact rough figure is the rough figure. If exact is the rough figure, it will not rough figure, it will exact rough figure. But that is the oxymoron, right? Any doubts? Chalo, let us move on to the next. Simile is done or left? Left, right? Simile, quick. It is a figure of speech. It is a figure of speech. That compares. That compares. Two different things. Okay, wait. That uh, compares. Two dissimilar things. Two dissimilar D I S S I M I L A R with each other using the terms using the terms put single inverted comma like L I K E like single inverted commas closed or again put single inverted commas as a as s close single inverted commas closed for example she is as pretty as a picture she is as pretty as a picture
he is strong like an ox he is strong like an ox o x ox next figure of speech metaphor it compares it compares two different things two different things without the use of the terms like or as without the use of the terms like or as can you repeat it once again it is a figure of speech that compares two different things without the use of the terms like or as for example she is a star in the sky she is a star in the sky next example that story is music to my ears that story is music to my ears next example my grandchildren are the flowers of my garden my grandchildren are the flowers of my garden next figures of speech personification personification my ears are blessed see that is apostrophe see when uh, when the human qualities are given okay or when human is given any extraordinary quality okay see there is a slight difference between apostrophe and personification i'll tell you with the examples wait okay right on did you write personification yes. it is a figure of speech that attributes it is a figure of speech that attributes human characteristics human characteristics to something that is not human to something that is not human for example i heard the wind whistling i heard the wind whistling did you write it i heard the wind whistling my dog is telling me to start dinner my dog is telling me to start dinner those who have pets they know that you know they give you a sign when they are hungry so my dog is telling me to start dinner for example the moon is smiling at me the moon is smiling at me the moon is smiling at Me. We're done. Yes, sir. Great. Mm. Yes. The uh, total given figures of speech today we did how many? Seven. 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 Seven.
next figure of speech? Apostrophe. 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 A P O S T R O P H A. Apostrophe. Apostrophe. Directly addressing A P O S T R O P H E. Directly addressing a non existent person. Directly addressing. What about Ligna Jay? I'm Bolu as a non existing person or an inanimate object. What about quick? Directly addressing a non existent person or an inanimate object. Or an inanimate object, O object, as though it were a living or as though Sir, can you please repeat? a living being. Directly addressing a non existent person or an inanimate object as though it were a living being. Oh, did you hit me? How dare you? See, it's an inanimate object. Addressing as if it is living. Got it? Understood? Leave a little bit. Example, Ligna Gore. Put double inverted commas. O. O H O. Comma. You stupid car. You stupid car. Car. Comma. C A R car. Comma. You never work. You never work when I need you to. When I need you to. So imagine in the winter morning and your car doesn't start. And you bang on the steering. Oh, you stupid car. You never work when I need you to. You know what? I'm getting late for the office. You never work. So it's an addressing. It's what? It's an apostrophe. What was your example now, Bansi? My ears are blessed. See, see, blessed is an abstract feeling, actually. Have you seen blessings? How they look like? You feel, right? When you are blessed. It's an abstract feeling. Can be a metaphor, but with an abstract association. Okay? Assonance. A double S. Oh, yeah. Shabbat. <laughs> Euphemism. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Euphemism. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Hyperbly. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Litotus. Litodo. L I T O T E S. Litotus. T O T E S. Litotus. Ye Krish Kashwini Tia Yasab Likaregi Nimujani Pata. Manit Devanshi Tanisha Dharia. Because despite telling you several times, you people are not turning on your cameras, man. Okay, and because now I feel offensive because despite telling you several times, and if you still keep your cameras on, I'm going to remove you. Okay, those who are not turning on the cameras in next two minutes, I'm going to remove you unexpectedly and without informing you. और हो सकता है तो मैं आपको संदीप सर से बात करवा दूं कॉन्फ्रेंस पे हम्म 
एंड आई एम श्योर ही टू विल एग्री विथ मी तब जिसका भी कैमरा ऑफ हुआ ना याद रखना मैं बोलूंगा नहीं कि कैमरा ऑन करो डायरेक्टली निकाल दूंगा मैं ग्रुप में से ठीक है फिर भेजते रहना रिक्वेस्ट वॉट इज इट लाइक आर यू टॉटलर ऑन टेलिंग यू दीप ऑर कैमराज ऑन एंड वॉट दैल आर यू डूइंग बिहाइंड द कैमराज मैन दैट यू हैव टू कीप योर कैमराज ऑफ Tanisha, I still can't see you. See, this is the last call. You are grown up, man. I don't have to keep on telling you the same thing over and over again. So next time, if you find yourself to be removed from your group, remember you didn't turn on your camera right first. It's your fault. Little this. A figure of speech consisting of an a figure of speech consisting of an understatement understatement in which an affirmative is expressed by negating its opposite by negating its opposite did you understand the statement or you want me to give you an example practical chalo the practical example so main do example dunga you choose which one fits better now say for example it is Meg and Manit. Okay. Now I say, you know, Meg and Manit, you are always found together. But Manit, you are better. So I'm not saying Meg that you are worst. But I'm saying Manit as better. Okay. I may say that you know, Manit. I think uh, you will you will definitely you know, have a good career. and then imagine if meg is standing beside i'm not saying that meg is not going to have a good career i didn't say right but when i say manit is going to have a good career maybe meg is expected to have an average career see understood it's not the direct reference it is the indirect hitting all right and that's what i think it happens in daily soap right daily soaps that have you know at your home tv channels tv serials that you have they use maximum litotis now write down the example number 1 a million dollars is no small chunk of change a million dollars is A million dollars is no small chunk of change. No small chunk of change. Next example. he isn't the brightest bulb in the box he isn't the brightest bulb in the box next example i don't deny that it was wrong So what does it mean? मैं मना नहीं कर रहा हूं कि वो रॉन्ग था आई एग्री दैट ही इज रॉन्ग आई डोंट डिनाई दैट इट वॉज रॉन्ग आई डोंट डिनाई मीन्स वॉट मैं मना नहीं कर रहा हूं कि वो रॉन्ग था इट मीन्स ही सी ही एक्सेप्ट और राइट सी दे अप्रूविंग और द वे ऑफ स्पीकिंग इज नेगेटिव बट इज पॉजिटिव सी If I say uh, you are not dumb, 
then what does it mean? Respond. But I am using two negatives, not and the opposite of positive. Smart ka opposite, dumb. So it's like minus minus, two negatives, one positive. Understood? Any doubts, online students? Great. Great. So now we move on to the next one. How many figures of speech is done so far? 13 done. Hang on. Next is... Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. Not onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. O N O M A T O P O E I A. People also pronounce it as onomatopoeia. People and also pronounce it onomatopoeia. For the same. Right in the meaning, the use of words, the use of words, the use of words that imitate the sounds, the use of words that imitate the sounds associated associated with the objects from the starting the use of words that imitate the sounds imitate means to copy that imitated the sounds associated with the objects or actions they refer to they refer to Sir, would you please repeat? Would I please watch? Sir, will you please repeat? Who is this? Who is asking me to repeat? Yes, Meg. Okay. The use of words that imitate the sounds associated with the objects or actions they refer to example the clap of thunder the clap of thunder went bang went bang b a n g bang and scared my poor dog and scared my poor dog. Sir, can you repeat? The clap of thunder went bang and scared my poor dog scared my poor dog okay next figures of speech synec dog C P O C H E. Synec dog. Who German or there? Tosh. Is the German Tosh. We are English. I mean, we are Indians, but we speak English as if foreigners are speaking. So ours is a foreigner Indian English. <laughs> so Synec dog. Okay. Right on the meaning of figures of speech in which. What is the name of the figure of speech? Synec doc. S Y N E C D O C H E.
you know, when you travel to North Gujarat, so, you know, the word that they address to face is Dachu. I hope you know that, right? Dachu, Dochu. That's how they address the face. So once, uh, you know, if you mess up with anyone on the roads, not Gujarat, so they will say, what, Dochu Jari Bhui Pachare? That's what they say, you know? Senek dok, doke, doche. It's not like that. Okay, senek dok. Do chujale, bui pachare. The bui is beneath. Their level of adverb is totally different. <laughs> so bui is beneath. All right. I hope I'm making it clear. We are not learning Gujarati grammar, but we are learning English. But at times, associating is a different level of fun. Chalo, senek dok. A figure of speech in which a part is used. A part is used to represent the whole. To represent the whole. W H O L E. Example. Tina is learning her ABCs in preschool. ABC capital girl. Tina is learning her ABCs. C's ke baad na apostrophe karke chhoda sa s. But ABC will be in block letters, okay? Tina is learning her ABCs in preschool. Understood? You know, my child is in preschool, in nursery. So today, her, his teacher asked him that, you know, it is Teacher's Day on 5th September. So you have to record a video message. And it will be a surprise to your teacher. So and that will be a surprise. And which will be sent on Sunday only. This is Teacher's Day on Sunday. So I'm wondering now, what should I ask him to speak so that I can record him? And you know, this young, if you tell them that they have to speak this, they'll not speak. If you tell them, see, what do you have to speak? Ah, so I need to record. And then when the recording is on, they'll not speak anything. And it's like, <laughs> and the kind of weird face they make, you know, when it is video recording. And we are embarrassed you know, because the entire video is waste. Because then we have to go back to gallery, open the video, delete it again, and then open the camera again, you know, because then it is photo. Then we have to slightly slide it back, then it is video. Because at first, when we are recording, we get confused. Ki white aata hai, toh recording chalu hota hai, ki red aata hai, toh recording chalu hota hai. Have you ever got confused? White wala dabo, to recording shuru hoga, ki red wala press karo to. Kitna <laughs> wadhu na aise karo. Kitna when you say you enter video is done, you know video recording. <laughs> and your entire efforts are waste, you know. Has it ever happened? Wadhu when you hand over the camera to an aged person. Look at you. Okay. <laughs> and then you at first you pause because then you know there's no pausing and it's stop Then again you go back to gallery, open the videos, delete the two second video. <laughs> yes, but they are giving demo, right? So, and then okay, the video is <laughs> But this is the comedy of errors, you know. It's comedy of errors. It is really very difficult to teach technology to the adults. And at times it is even difficult to teach them because it sounds like a CA to them. Like how CA is difficult for you. It is technology with them. 
but anyways they have survived right they have survived everything probably you will not be able to survive till their age let us not forget the you know siddhan shukla died at the age of 42 now imagine how far we are going to live our elders you know they lived till 60 70 or 80 probably so our life will be maximum you know, like ours will be 50 probably when you will be growing old you will be into 40s and that's how the world will end one day when the child will take birth will die the next month this gradually we are reducing in years there were times where people used to live centuries you know 100 years 105 years 10 years i'm sure in your family there will be one example at least but now we see gradually the life span has reduced it reduced to 80s 85s then it reduced to 70 75 then into late 60s early 60s you know late 50s early 50s late 40s early 40s like siddhan shukla the reason is cardiac arrest heart attack maybe we don't know if it is the drug reason or whatever it is but the official paper reason is cardiac arrest so now imagine the moment you are done with your education you realize that i only have 10 years to live so you know you should not live long life but the kind of work that you should do that should be remembered for years and years for the upcoming generations so believe in good and better deeds than simply expecting to live for a longer life no one is going to live longer neither you nor me okay so try to make the best of times that you have okay stop regretting appreciate people talk to them don't feel sad don't feel bad about anyone don't mistreat people around behave nicely with them because you never know what kind of regret you are soon going to have okay so next talk written example any doubts any queries so we'll stop this figures of speech here how many did we do today today we did 10 10 10 did how many 5 so total in all we have done 15 right so i think 10 more the general figures of speech and then we'll call for the figures of speech because then now i'm planning to start with your uh, you know textbook content the term two syllabus before your school goes ahead let us cross them <laughs> we'll term two school now what are they doing that class test of mcqs practice okay that is also good thing but next time when we are meeting probably we will finish the remaining five or six figures of speech the general ones and then uh, even if we have half an hour we'll start with the next chapter may i know what was the last chapter that we did in your textbook anyone in footprints without feet and what about the first slide and wh- what is the poem after that animals so next time uh, if if time permits us out of because of speech we are going to start with animals okay any doubts dear students any queries in today's figures of speech no sir no sir all right just a minute besides uh, here what are they doing in your school are they preparing you for mcq online student yes sir have they given you any sample worksheet of mcq So from they school? have given the CBSE worksheet, not from school. Okay, and uh, is it given with answers or you have to do by your own self? Sir, MCQ's answer given me back on the sheet. Okay, so is your term one exam going to be MCQ based or subjective? Sir, MCQs. MCQs. Kashwin, is it going to be MCQ based? Okay, Neil, Krish, Mewada, Tanisha, yes, sir. Tia, Devan, she. What about you? Yes, sir. Objective. Yes, sir. Objective. 
or not yet decided sir objective objective what about you here is someone going to be mcq based in your school sample papers have been given they will provide you practice kar do same paper they are going to ask no there will be which school you are in no me de diye mcq wait aap aisha mein ho aap nirman aap aap since cps they have given mcq worksheets acha baaki subjects mein milegi next week probably ya mara jagrasan mein de diya great you english is left okay you which school asia ma acha aap kaun si which school prakash mein ho anyone from zebar from online students anyone from zebar anyone no one चलो कोई बात नहीं सो वेल लिव फाइव मिनट्स अर्ली टुडे ऑल राइट सो नेक्स्ट टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू डू द सिक्स फिगर्स ऑफ स्पीचेस एंड देन एनिमल्स पोयम जस्ट रिमाइंड मी ओके चलो बाय टेक केयर सी यू बाय सर